Microchipping is easy and simple and it's an easy way to get your dog back if they happen to bolt when they're scared. Okay, this is Anya today. We're going to microchip her. She's just a puppy. Uh, the microchip actually goes in the neck area right here, usually above the shoulders. What we want to do is create a tent and actually go in under that tent. Now, does it hurt? Any injections have a bit of a sting when you go through the skin. So one of the things you want to do is when you're going through the skin, go right on through because that's the part that, that hurts. So make the tent, go into the tent. You're pinching it up right here. She's long haired, so it's a little hard to see, but there's a tent to skin there. We're going to go right under that, right through the skin, and Anya's going to pay attention to her owner, so it won't be a big deal for her, we hope. Now, some people like to alcohol them. I think you've got to put alcohol on for like 30 minutes to do much good. But if you want to, fine. You can do them sitting. You can do them standing. I usually prefer standing so they don't jump up. But however, Anya wants to do it. So we're going to take the needle. I'm going to go. I like to make sure that that microchip is in there. And it is. Now, when you put these chips in, I usually want the bevel up. And I just pet her. She's a little worried right now because I let go of her. But as long as you have your hands on them, they usually know. You just keep paying attention to mom. Life is good. <laughs> Let's stand you up. Good girl. So, so we're going to take Anya here. She wants to sit. We're going to go right in, right through the skin. We're going to give the microchip. Then I like to pinch the needle and pull it back out. Now she's long haired, so it's hard to see, but there's a plunger that pushed it in there and made sure that it didn't come back out. So it was all done. And again, she's a little concerned because she felt me going through. I'm now just holding it and pinching it. And I can feel the chip there. And if I grab, if I grab the scanner, we'll be able to tell that we have the microchip in under the skin. And that's all there is to it. Remember, the one thing you want to do, she doesn't want a second round of this. <laughs> You want to go through the skin in one push. Don't go slow because that's like cutting the skin. You want to go right on through. It's like, ouch, it's over with. And they're fine with that if somebody's loving them up. So I hope that helps you today. There's a couple of kind. People want to talk about the mini chip. We're going to show you that today. That's this one and the standard chip. Um, I don't see a lot of difference in the two except for the size of the needle. And if you look at the size of the needle, you will see the difference between the two is quite marked. Uh, the mini chip is actually designed for dogs. It is not the mouse chip um, that people ask about. It is designed for dogs and it works very well and it's great for puppies. Older dogs, this is a big needle, but it's a one time through the skin so people think it's worth it. And this is the home again chip is usually sets the standard for chips. So I show you those two today. That's the difference in the two. There's nothing else. Um, if you have a scanner and most breeders will, it's important to scan everything before you start. So what you generally do, there are a couple of types. This is the home again scanner. It will scan every chip. Um, this is an Avid scanner. Some scanners will not scan all chips. So you want one that, if you're going to buy one, it'll scan all chips. So you punch the thing. It says English. It says battery's okay. It says searching for the chip. Scan it. We then can tell that that chip is good. Hi, if you're watching on YouTube and new to our channel, consider subscribing to our YouTube channel to catch our new videos right when they come out. If you ever have any pet health questions, don't hesitate to give our pet care pros a call at this number just below me, or check out our other pet health videos.